Today, I have a challenge for you, a styrofoam cup sculpture challenge. Using two to three styrofoam cups, I want you to create a sculpture. Completely transform the cups. You can use scissors, an X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun, or liquid glue to cut and paste your sculpture together. Now this sculpture needs to be a freestanding sculpture. That means that without any assistance from your hands or from leaning, it needs to be able to stand alone upright and be seen from all angles. Excellent craftsmanship is very important for all works of art. While both scissors and X-Acto knives are available to you, Use the method that is best for the particular cuts you are trying to make. Personally, I find that scissors cut more cleanly and easily when able to be used, and I only use an X-Acto knife if I'm trying to remove a space that cannot be cut with scissors. Pay attention to detail. Create as many detailed and intricate cuts as possible, showing visible effort. It should be visibly apparent that you utilized all time given for this challenge to make your sculpture as complex and well-crafted as possible. When using the X-Acto knife to cut into the cup, you'll have to score and then repeat those cuts more than one time. In fact, you may have to cut over the same line three times to make a clean cut, unless you are cutting on top of your mat. As you work to completely transform the cup, don't be afraid to try unique things like curling, bending, or folding the styrofoam. Spend quality time cutting and playing with the styrofoam before gluing and attaching any pieces together. You can collect your pieces in any unused styrofoam cups until you're ready to glue. When you're ready to begin gluing your styrofoam pieces together, first, Hold with your hands the styrofoam in the place you wish to glue it. Then use as little glue as possible because for good craftsmanship, you want to remove any glue strings that remain. The glue gun should always rest on a scrap of cardboard when not in use. And if using a high temperature glue gun, keep it set on low. Remember, for this challenge, attention to detail showing visible effort means that you are cutting your styrofoam into many different pieces and attaching them together in a unique way. This sculpture still must remain freestanding, so you're going to have to balance the styrofoam as you increase the height so that it is stable. Continue to cut additional pieces and work with attaching them during all time given in class on this sculpture challenge. Remember, of course, you need to remove all those stringy glue gun strings as you see them being created. And of course, as you're gluing, make sure your attachments are secure. Styrofoam is very lightweight. Not much glue is needed to securely attach the pieces. So if anything, less can be more. When you are finished with your sculpture, check it over from all angles. You will need to write your name on the bottom of your sculpture at the end of each class period. You'll want to save all of your pieces and you can put them into an empty or partially cut styrofoam cup and write your name on the bottom of that as well. Cap up your X-Acto knife and be sure to unplug any hot glue guns. And when you're completely finished with your sculpture, take a good photograph of your work, preferably with a all black background, because as an extension, we will be turning our sculptures into digital works of public art. I wish you the best of luck on this unique sculpture challenge.